Well, that was posh. Hell yeah. Wow, you can tell Hoss has had nothing to do today, <laughs> can't you? Spill his diet off. <laughs> right then, guys, I am super, super excited tonight. Both Hoss and okay. uh, Hoss and Danny know that I have had a bit of a man crush on this man here. I don't hear um, this guy with the beer. <laughs> he can't hear me. <laughs> oh no! I think it's even. I think it's even better that he doesn't even know his name. And he's he's, know. Now, he's, now, yeah, he's yeah. now explaining that he has a man crush, and he doesn't even know his name. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like having a man crush. Nico, like a crush can, you hear, can you hear him? No. Well, okay. Uh, I hear both of you, but not not Mike. Well, okay, so Yay. either Mike, you need to drop out and come back in, or Nico needs to do it. One or two. Oh, Mike. I'll, go, I'll, I'll go out. No, no. Let Nico, and I'll give him an introduction whilst he drops out. Okay, Nico, I'm going to kick you off. Do you want to click the link back onto Safari and come back in? So I, I put on. Uh, I click on leave. Click, click on the link again that we sent you, and come back in. Yeah, to... yeah. Kick him out, and okay. then he'll sign back in. Oh. oh. <laughs> Hey. Oh, yeah. Right, okay, so what I was going to say was uh, You both know that I've had a man crush on Nico Since we met him a couple of years ago He's one of the nicest people you'll wish to meet He's got some amazing stories um, He was really generous to us when we first um, started And he gave us a Herp Tech tank And we did a big giveaway at Christmas Which really boosted our podcast and our, and our listeners uh, Right at the start um, He's He's an incredible guy. He's got pretty much the best reptile shop that you can find in France. He has an amazing company called Herptech that do amazing divs. Hello. Um, he, hello. hello. Can you hear me now, Nico? Yeah, I hear you, Big Beard. <laughs> <laughs> Big Beard. Um, I'm just singing your praises here, Nico. I'm um, just saying that you've got probably one of the best shops in France, um, if not Europe. You've got some amazing, amazing animals. Uh, you've got a fantastic company called Herptech as well that manage, uh, manufacture amazing lightweight uh, Bavarians. You play the, uh, you play the guitar in a band, um, and if anybody, <laughs> pardon, yeah, um, Nico, can you turn the volume down on your phone just a touch? Oh, okay. getting or, you back through. or grab some headphones. Or headphones. It's okay um, like this. Uh, you want um, more volume or less? Less. Less. Just less? because it's it's coming back. That's the only problem. Okay. So we're going. Oh, okay. What about that? Yeah. Well, okay. That should be okay. It's probably my my big mouth as well. So I'll probably just try and. Speak oh, that, does sound, that, sounds better. that sounds much better. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, and then, and then, just finally, before uh, sort of like Nico starts to, uh, talking, just wanted to say, check out the podcast the where we have Nico on. Um, it wasn't long after we lost the great late um, Frank Schofield, and and Nico had a fantastic relationship with uh, Frank Schofield. You hear all about it in the podcast. You hear about the relationship, how he was tucked under his wing, and he was like a grandfather to him. So it's an absolutely fantastic listen. Um, you know, Nico, uh, although um, it was so sad when we lost him, you know, he can look back now with some absolutely incredible memories of, of you know, the godfather uh, of the hobby. So, uh, so yeah. Nico, welcome to the live show, pal. Thank you. Thank you. Uh... Hello, everybody. I'm so happy to be with you guys again. So, uh, it's nice to have these new tools to show you a bit what's happened here in France. Really happy to be with you tonight. Cool. No, you're, you're welcome. Welcome. Right, we have got one problem. So there's a lot of French people on the uh, feed talking French. And I ain't got a oh, fucking yeah. clue. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, they must to learn English because tonight is only English. <laughs> uh, you know, Ian. I'm guessing he would. He'd say something nice. He could. He could be saying Danny's a prick, and he wouldn't be uh, wrong. Bunny, well, good evening to Le Monde. I, <laughs> I am. I'm going to be disappointed if he's not calling me a prick. There. <laughs> Salut. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, people from France who want to uh, share 
a moment with us. So that's that's cool. Oh, uh, well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Just wanted to say a big welcome to all the French listeners as well for, um, who's, who's joined us tonight. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to uh, to uh, present also Reptile and Shell uh, to French people because I think not a lot of people, of course, in France know your podcast because it's purely English. But uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, some guys here speak enough good English to uh, to uh, listen to your podcast. And uh, I think it's a really quality mission and you're really cool guys, passionate people. So it's a pleasure to uh, to talk about your things to uh, to French guys. Yeah, That's fantastic. Guys. Thanks, Nico. Right. Nico, the show is yours, mate. Sorry, Haas. <laughs> yeah, no, right. So <laughs> you, you make me work. Nico's was, wearing one of our t-shirts. You working and I'm just enjoying, but you make me work. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Haas, you're Nico and Haas are our t shirt and he's I'm wearing one of his. Yeah, I have your t-shirt. Oh, what about you? I, I support. Oh, I support no. yeah. <laughs> of course, I have my t-shirt. It's a very nice one. I love yeah, it. Good man. Awesome. Okay. So, what yeah. what so does that even mean? Start, oh. We can start to do a, a quick, a quick visit of the shop, and then. Uh, we can go on the backstage and, and of course, see uh, some of my snakes. And I know you like Bolins, and so we, we can go and see them. Hell so, yeah. so, so maybe I will uh, turn the thing so and show you. This is the shop. Ooh, so awesome! Wow, I, I look at that, guys. that, shit, that shit is clean. Uh, so, I have my nice and gentle girlfriend with me who will help me to film and so i can be also hey. <laughs> <laughs> so i have some help thank you uh you should suffer helping me so we have plenty of different cool stuff uh, monitors different kind of lizards and of course a lot of snakes because i'm mainly a snake guy at the beginning and i turned to also some lizards and more monitors because they yeah. are more similar to snakes in some some kind of way. Some with some cool Kimberly Rock monitors, some hackies, very nice hackies. Well, it, it, it's it's a night for them, so they are, they they looks they looks uh, they want to sleep. So we have also Tristis Orientalis here, that really nice captive bred babies, and uh, you know we mm. I'm I'm pretty lucky to have a, a good team here of passionate people who work with me at Reptiling to keep the animal uh, in a perfect condition. And, uh, and I have a girl named Lorraine who takes a lot of care of the animals and she's really in the monitors and she do a, a, an amazing job. And then Dimitri also and now Anthony. I, I, I'm really lucky to have a good team with me to, to do all this work because it's a lot of work to keep it really clean and you know, all the animals in the good hills. So. Plenty of animals, but um, of course some snakes. So uh, we have some cool uh, boys and pythons here. It's uh, more arboreal stuff. Here we have a nice Coralis batesi. Nice. Mm -hmm. Pretty looking, uh, pretty good looking one. Born mm -hmm. in uh, 2017, and some uh, green tree python over there. Very nice. So, very nice uh, Biak pythons uh, and uh, some diamond pythons. I love them. No, nice. I will show you some of mine. Some baby Mike's, uh, diamond Mike's pythons right and uh, ah. some nice. Uh, just, just got an instant hard on. <laughs> <laughs> so, some good nice uh, Biak babies. Yeah, very, stuff like that. Look at the color that, that, of those. Uh, that mm -hmm. the part for, for uh, in this kind of uh, terrariums, I put all the the baby snakes. Like most of them are Morelias and stuff. With who need, uh, I, I like to keep them in small terrariums instead to keep them in a rack. Mm -hmm. they, 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 for me, they, they they do much better like this. Uh, mm -hmm. This is the the part for chameleons, but they're all sleeping. Everything is is closed. Uh, here we have a nice. We try to make some nice display, uh, then people can enjoy the baby snakes. And really often in the shops, 
it, it's not easy to display the baby snakes in a, in a good way. So we, we, we make this kind of display, which is a mix between uh, a rack system and uh, a, a show display. So mm -hmm. you see, it looks like a show display, but in fact, it's, it's also a rack system. So it's really easy uh, okay. to clean, but people can come here and see the snakes very well. Mm -hmm. So it's it's good for the for the people who take care of snakes, and, and it's uh, it's all also good for people who come and visit us. Yeah, I so. suppose as I suppose as well when you're you've got customers coming into the shop, they can actually see what they're looking at. Whereas you go into most shops with rack systems, you'd walk past them, you wouldn't see the animals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we have rack system. We use, of course, we use rack system, but more in the backstage. I will show yeah. you that. But for display, of course, uh, it, it's much more fun. And, and, and yeah, we, yeah. we have beautiful snakes. So we want to yeah, yeah, show, show them off up to people. And uh, here um, we have uh, a part. We have baby frill dragon and stuff like that. And that's another part of the shop with motor irons, uh, another display with baby snakes, and we use the the low part of the display to make terrariums also for turtles and stuff like that. Because we have so many animals, we, we must to find a, a clever way to, to display them and save the maximum of space and keep yeah. the animals in the right way. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, this is uh, more monitors, and here there is some terrariums with some uh, some goniosoma, this uh, green rat snake. That's a Tristis orientalis, an adult male. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and the, I love these guys. And uh, this is uh, some nice uh, uh, green rat snake. Please, a bit afraid. Oh, no, okay. Time. I think your Wi-Fi is a bit weak in that corner. They're pretty shop. rare in captivity. Not a lot of people breed them. So every time we can add some, we try to add some. And uh, Miko, the so, screen's just so he's the screen like, has just frozen a little he's bit. Afraid of me for the moment. We will be friends sooner or later. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> no, so there's some uh, small, <laughs> small cages with uh, like crested geckos and stuff like that. And here, Nico, we have more, more, Nico. With more bigger snakes like this Nico. beautiful, beautiful <laughs> red tail. <laughs> I don't think he can hear us. <laughs> no. Is he gone? <laughs> Is he gone? He's gone completely. Yeah, you see me? Oh, they will I'm I promise. You had him in, Hoss. <laughs> maybe. maybe uh, I'm, Hang on, I'm Nico. Nico, I think I think you need to come out the chat again and come back in. I think you walked away from your Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah. It's just frozen a little bit. Do you see me? No, no, no we can't see it. If you exit the exit all and come back in in Safari again. I am. Um, Maybe, it's still uh, a fiver, by the way. I will try it. <laughs> Sorry for that. No, it's okay. It's, no problem. Uh, it's just, uh, it's just ten euros you owe us. There you go. Uh, we're back. We're back. <laughs> we, uh, no. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. You see me now? Yeah, yeah man. Cool. Yeah, man. Cool. No, there you go. So let's go. Here we go. Let's go Here again. There we go. So that's that's beautiful parts because that's the part with the three monitors, oh, and we are very lucky oh, at the moment to have wow. some Rosengari. Which is wow. a very rare yeah, yeah. Uh, tree monitor. And those guys are now really oh, of course it, it's the night, so they sleep. So they are on the on the floor. Really often these three monitors they, they sleep on the floor, even even in a wide. Mm -hmm. Look wow. at this guy. And I love them. And the the girl who worked with me, Lauren, is she's really in this kind of monitors and she do an awesome work because we are really in all the uh, positive reinforcement all the positive training so these animals are not afraid about us and it takes us a lot of time every day to to feed them by hand and by have it with with pin sets and stuff like that so mm -hmm. there is other ones uh but 
it's 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 very dark, but uh, they are all sleeping now. But yeah, we can just see them. Animals. Here we have more more green tree pythons. GTPs, yeah. Nice. So why can't I work at this shop? (laughs) (laughs) Why can't I live next to it? You mentioned uh, Frank, of course. uh, It's a big. uh, He was a. Uh, it was a big part of his uh, breeding green tree pythons, so uh, I like to work with them. I was mm-hmm. not a big green tree python breeder; that was not my main stuff. But uh, but uh, I find they're beautiful, and uh, mm-hmm. we have some in the shop, some good boas. We do. We, I love the both world. I mean, I love the pure localities, and I love like this beautiful uh, red tail. She's hiding on the back, but. Uh, but I also like the morph uh, when we do it properly and uh, this kind of stuff. It's a VPI Sunglow Motley, which is pretty nice. Bred by a friend in Germany team, which is a very good breeder. So plenty of boas and pythons stuff. So, well, you know, and this is the part where we have all the equipment and stuff. So I will bring you that that's a that's a promotion from a band <laughs> <laughs> shameless plug i love it yeah <laughs> so I, bring, I bring you in the backstage oh, now go back go back go back go back there's a picture on the wall go back go back go back reverse reverse out look look does anyone recognize who painted that daylights oh. daylights yeah Tell Hicks. Tell Hicks, yeah. yeah. We, you will see I have, I have much more. That, wow, that was, yeah. Uh, a lot of animals from uh, my uh, NH reptile breeding part. Now it's gone, but I keep the remember of uh, a lot of my snakes. Uh-huh. Uh, so those most of those guys come from Frank uh, back in the days. And so this is... Uh, this is where we keep all the baby snakes. So you haven't got many, uh, have you? We we have quite no, we have some. There's only a few there. Just, just a yeah, couple. Only a few. And uh, <laughs> we we just yeah. It's not it's not giant like in the US, but uh well we have we have some snakes. So Nico, uh, you know, it's not all about quantity you know the quality you can see there but your shop is you know it's huge you don't see many shops well if any that that big in the uk do we no I, and, I, and I especially mean, with that. You, have, you have nice and big shop in the uk but uh yeah i mean there is much more shops but it's uh in france we are we are not not many not many professionals and uh you you see we we try to even if we have quite a lot of babies, every baby have his own labels with all the feeding. And I can tell somebody when he buy a snake, for example, he have uh, that much uh, feeding mm-hmm. and he feed on rats or, or, or defrost mice <clears throat> or whatever. We, we keep a track of, of everything. Mm-hmm. And uh, we try to, to do a, a, a really good job that way because the 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 main point is we we really love snakes and uh and we we want to to make a good job that's that was my school i come from the old school frank school where we take care of things i will show you this little beauty which is a very nice baby but easy very cool looking little snake Mm -hmm. yeah amazing He's beautiful. Mm. He starts. He he's born. He's born in the UK, by the way, uh, to a friend. And uh, he, he, I got him. He, he never have one meal, but he starts like a champion. Uh, he eats everything I give to give to him. So Brilliant. I love this guy. Uh, I was afraid because that was my first time. These blackheads. Oh, mm. Nice, beautiful blackheads. Nice. Did you breed these guess, yourself, Nico? Sorry, did you breed those yourself? No, no. These these blackheads come from another guy in uh, in Belgium. But uh, I used to breed blackheads uh, yeah. before with NH Reptile when I have my big breeding uh, 
uh, breeding center or whatever. And, Nico, uh, on the podcast, was that where you were talking about combating the males to get them to breed? I think it was, wasn't it, you blackheads? Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. And uh, the, um, uh, I, I breed them a uh, few times, but they are not the easiest one. Uh, I have... These, these babies are bred by myself. That's the baby boas. It's black. I call them black stripes. Mm -hmm. We work on this bloodline for a long time. It's got out. 99. <laughs> it's gone. I start, I start in 99 with those guys. Nice. It's That's a kind nice. of very stripy mm -hmm. little... Central American looking boas. Mm -hmm. Very clean. I will show you the pink parents. Pink and Asian like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Some of them are really, are really funny. Look at this one. Beautiful. Yeah. Love that. Yeah, that's really cool. The little yeah. orange spots. Really yeah. Nice. Very nice. These guys are really cool. So, well, we have uh, different stuff, uh, some pure cold kirky boas, stuff like that. A lot of things, also color breeds, some good <laughs> pine snakes and stuff like that, like baby, uh, beautiful Surinams. Look at that. Oh, I love those guys. Yeah, the pattern well, on well, that. What I like to do is to keep the old time diversity, you know, with with the new age of herpetoculture, all the, 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 the market change and uh, what I, what it's sad is, it's a lot of ball patterns, a lot of boas, a lot of uh, few species in many, many morphs. But uh, I remember okay. the days where there is plenty of species and I really love to do it that way. I mean, plenty of species. That's you can, black you can see that, Nico. Um, just walking around your shop, you know, the species you've got in there, and <laughs> not <laughs> just <laughs> you, you just parted, Danny. <laughs> Excuse um, me, <laughs> yeah. The species in your shop, they're not just you know, your common stuff that you see, uh, time and time again. You know, there's apps, there's so much, so many different fantastic uh species in there. Is yeah. everything on display in your shop for sale, Nico? Uh, most of the time, yes. But, uh, for example, those guys are not for sale. Uh, I, I mean, I will show you one of the uh, snakes I, I discovered the first time at the Frank house. And for me, it's one of the most amazing snakes. But nobody know about him. It's, right. uh, it's a Condoria carinata polsoni. Mm -hmm. But uh, the Santa Isabel one. That's cool. The the white and black one. Mm -hmm. Look really at this. Nice. It's an amazing animal. I love mm -hmm. it. I mean, that's the kind of thing you don't see a lot around, but for me, it's, it's just beautiful. Stunning. Yeah, really, yeah. really nice. And when they grow, they stay very, very white and, and very, very black. Mm -hmm. So it, 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 they look like a small viper. Mm-hmm. And they are not so easy to breed. I mean, and and especially, uh, really, uh, the problem is when to make them start feeding. But as soon as they start, after that, it's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, well, so I I like this kind of, of species, and I like to to have diversity. I mean, I, I don't want to have only ball pythons or, or, or leopard geckos and stuff like that. we have. We have ball pythons and leopard gecko, of course, because it, it, they are interesting and, the, and it's cool. But we like to have also specific stuff. And, uh, you know, maybe sometimes it's not that easy to sell. But uh, this is a beautiful also patisi, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I like to have uh, different stuff uh, like this. Look at this. I mean, that's. That's bring me back to the Frank years. Look at this. I mean, you don't see a lot of snakes like this, like Calabar pythons. No. Boy. No, you don't see and, them very uh, often at all. And I remember when I was at Frank's house, he had all these things and all this diversity. And he 
he bred those things, which mm -hmm. is pretty. I think he, he bred them for the first time in in eighty five or something. So yeah. he, it was so amazing, yeah. and he 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 loves all the animals, and so uh, he he, he teach me the beauty of all these animals and 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 i try to to fix myself on on some species but every time i i i i fail i mean i i always say no i i stay only on these species and uh that's that's my office mm -hmm. so <laughs> that's where <laughs> the, there is more snakes so of course <laughs> Of course, the, the Godfather is, is here is. with me. Right next mm -hmm. to you. Yeah. So I think about him every day and uh, he, he teaches me so many things. That's, that's, I spend a lot of time in his rooms with him, with his scrub pythons and stuff. He, he, he teaches me so many things about snakes. Mm -hmm. Nico, so, you, you you said on the podcast, you know, you used to go there and you was just amazed, you know, these species you'd never ever get to see. And there no. they was in, in, in the bedroom that you were staying in, <laughs> you know, yeah, diamond yeah, diamond exactly. pythons, scrub pythons, things like that. that you yeah. Just I, see. Yeah, in my bedroom, I, I on, on my right side I have some batesi, on my left side, um Timor Pythons, front of the bed I have some diamond pythons. So, what the best <laughs> for a young, crazy snake keeper from France? <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was, I was in heaven. I was, he it, it, it was, and he was so gentle, and he he shares so many things. He has so much passion. There is nothing about money, nothing about the fucking fame, just enjoying snakes. Yeah, man, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I should be. Wow. So, so that's uh, that's some some of my snakes. So uh, a carpet python, of course, because that's one of my favorites. That's very nice, pure jungles from Jungle, different bird yeah. line. That that's a very uh, really cool one. And you see, uh, he just make a, a fresh just shed. Yeah. So uh, you see, uh, they can do pretty nice shed without any humidity in here. So that that's. That's my my big thing. I say always to people, don't spray your snakes. That's not the way they they get humidity. They 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 they, they drink. That's mm -hmm. the most important thing is to give them fresh, fresh water, water to drink. But those Absolutely. look at those guys. They are beautiful. Yeah, and you can see just by looking at that shed. That's how the shed should be. Yeah, exactly. And you see, it's not humid at all. It, it's just normal. And, no. uh, that's that's another. Nice pair. Oh, there's one. Uh, they, Hello. <laughs> want to Must to be careful at night when I go in the terrariums. But look at this stripy, really nice, mm -hmm. stuff. lovely, lovely pattern. Yeah, yeah. The, lovely, the, lovely. The, the sort of one, and, the one uh, on the left, the one on the left there is real nice. Yeah, and that those guys are cool too. Yeah, mm -hmm. very nice. Pure jungle. I I love pure jungles. <laughs> Yeah, and that's that the that the parents of the of the babies, the striped baby boa, as I show you. Oh yeah, that the, yeah. That the father. And the nice striped. Central Americans. Yeah, they. I, I don't. To be honest, I don't have the exact origin because we bought them long time ago in ninety nine, and uh, and this is the first generation, so mm -hmm. they are good. So Very and nice. then. Of course, I have uh, two diamonds. Oh, um, look. Yeah, if you could just send them over, Nico. Um, yeah. yeah. That'd be great, mate. I'll send I, you I, another T-shirt. I, I, <laughs> I will try to breed them so I can I can send you some babies. Oh, but 100%. now you are, it's impossible because you're out of Europe. <laughs> All right. Well, we're not yet. You've got to, you've got to the end of the month. <laughs> we're, 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 yeah. We're reptile in chill. We can do anything. We can just send them this, guy, this guy is from um, he's from is from a bloodline from Ciprofrod. Uh I got him from um, from Matt in the UK, and uh, originally he's, he's been bred by uh, by uh, Steve Crawford. And this bloodline comes from Frank, so this one yeah. is is kind of you know very it's specific nice. for me. Very I, white as well. Yeah, uh, very white. Yeah, and so this this good bloodline, and then this is. For the big black guys, 
Mm -hmm. Oh, and, yes. Uh, come on. Here we come. Oh. So he's just oh, expecting food him. now, Nico. Yeah, yeah, because it's nice. So yeah. if I if I want to uh, if I want to do something with him, dude, dude, tell us one. If I want to do something with him, I must to be very careful at this time because he's very gentle. It's no problem, but he he just when he when he feel the opening of the glass, he's just. Is that food? You got food yeah, for yeah. me. They, yeah, they are really heavy feeders, so, so if mm -hmm. anyone no wants problem, to, you must do. Uh, yeah, man. If anyone uh, wants to send a caption in right now, because I've got who's this French idiot waking me up? That's exactly <laughs> what he's saying. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> so, Come at no, me, bro. Are, it's, it's a beautiful... Uh, <laughs> bebe, t'es là? Tu veux venir, s'il uh, I'm just calling my girlfriend so I can I can show you the snake. So this is this is the female. That That's the female who lay eggs in uh, uh, two years ago. Oh, okay. So last year, she didn't do anything. But... Uh, but um, <laughs> uh, maybe this year, but we don't have a very cold winter, okay. so... Let me show you. So you know the you so, know the those those herb texts that you've got there and you've you've cut them through. Yeah. Is that something you have if you were to buy herb texts you'd have to do yourself? Or can you order them like that? No, uh we, we, we used to do it, but it's too complicated. So we prefer to show to people how to do it. I made okay. I've made a video on that. And uh so this, this kind of cages is to just two uh, uh, 90 arboreal, 90 centimeter by 60 by one meter joined together. And for me, it's a perfect cage for breeding this kind of snakes who, who like to climb a bit. Or it's also a beautiful cage to, uh, to breed uh, tree monitors because it's one meter high, which is uh, tall enough for tree monitors. And you, you can do your thermal gradient and several spots. It's much more easier than to have a tall one. So hello, this is the male. So he, he, at this time of the day, I must do really uh, one him. It's not, it's, 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 it's daddy, it's not food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because if I, if I put my, my hand first, uh, he will just do yeah. rotation. But a lot of my if, carpets are like that, though, Nico. So that that the way it is. I can feel it because it's just. It's a chunky snake. It's just grabbing my hand. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I must to be careful right now. But you see, it will calm down. You will just understand. No food, and after that, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's a good job he's not like me because I don't understand that there is no food. <laughs> it's because it's it's night time. Night time they are really, really on food. So, and I should imagine Nico, that's just they're used to getting their food of an evening. Yeah, sometimes uh, they, they are active even even in the, in the day. So, yeah, so that's that's not a big, a big thing. <laughs> he is watching you. <laughs> I will do it. Oh, look at them. Yeah. Lovely snake. Yeah, that will be okay now. It's a, it's a long and thin snake. That's what you want with Bolens because that's a problem. They feed very well and they want to feed all the time. So, uh -huh. that, so they end up they end up getting fat. They can they can be oh, they can be too too fat and mm -hmm. for breeding and uh you you can see it because they are long snakes and mm -hmm. you know it's very important to to keep them long and thin like that uh, they are pretty active animals so i don't uh, they can feed on very big prey but that oops uh, that's what i don't do i, I only give them small rats like uh, like 200 grams or something. And why is that, Nico, to keep the fat content down? Yeah, 
I mean, uh, it's it's important to uh, to don't overfeed them because, like any boys, any snakes, when they have too much food, they don't breed. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, that's 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 true for for a lot of species, not only with bolens, with carpet python, with any species. I remember when I I was keeping and breeding olive pythons. It took me seven years to breed them because they were too fat. But mm. because they are long snakes, you, you, you don't really realize it. Mm -hmm. So, but as That's you can stunning. see, it's a very, very nice snake and uh, very long. And uh, they have this very chunky head, really beautiful. And uh, it's good to see uh, all these guys from, uh, from the 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 the, um, the group uh simalia boeleni all the guys from the us ie case all the guys yeah. Friedrich in the Swed in sweden who breed them five times <laughs> no to, yeah uh, to be involved that way and uh and this year in uh, in atlanta in june there there the, there will be a meeting of the ihs the international Herpetological society and uh, Ari Amer organized a symposium on Bolens, yeah. and uh, and he he invited me to talk about Bolens, which is uh, I was very happy and uh, and proud about that and uh, and honored from that. So I will go in the US uh, with other guys to uh, to talk about Bolens for a few days. That will be awesome. That's and, brilliant. Uh, I hope uh, some days we will have more Bolens uh, yeah. born in captivity. So as you see, I keep them quite simple. They are not difficult uh, snakes to keep, by the way. They just need fresh water all the time. I'd never spray them. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, are, they are really a uh, big uh, thermoregulator. They like to uh, thermoregulate themselves by basking under the, 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 um, the heat lamps. And um, I also use a lot of light because I think they are from the from the mountain and uh, in the day is pretty pretty bright I think and um, and in the in the evening it's turned very dark of course with the the brooms and all the fogs coming mm -hmm. but uh, they are very sensitive to the light I mean they are they, they are thermal reg regulators so they understand light is also heat. So when they see some light emitting some some uh, so, sorry they, they see some heat emitting light, uh, they're really attracted by that. So I use uh, heat lamps. I also do only infrared, but I use uh, LED uh, lamps to make them um, to in in the day to 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 uh, uh, have a, a really intense light. Mm -hmm like the sun and uh, then after that uh, in the in the year I just make it shorter or longer depending if it's winter or, or, or summer or whatever I have two cycles one long long cycle of day and a short days in the winter mm -hmm. and uh, uh, <clears throat> autumn and winter so uh, at, in the winter I put them together Definitely. I, I, I see you've got a famous painting up behind you as well, Nico Idinis. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Ionis, that, that's that's Tal, Tal Hicks again. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and if you see in the in the in the corridor, there is some more. I'll mm. show you. Definitely. Well, okay, yeah. so if you if you want to get my uh, my next snake away put my back if you look after him until next week <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll drive i'll drive to france to, next week and i'll take him off it's fine <laughs> nico you know, can i can i ask how old they are uh they are they are now uh, those those ones are um the female she is now eight years old and this male is eight years old too I have some older ones uh, upstairs, and I have some younger ones, um, but those ones are eight years old. Yeah. Disgusting. Nico, you're yeah. a cretin. You have ah, far nice. too many bolines. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> no, I'm not. I have not enough. <laughs> we, we, we think you're going to become unhealthy. Yeah, so you never, you, you never have enough. No, you're wrong, Mika. If you have any more bowling, you'll be ill. So you need to give them to yeah. us. We'll look after them for you. I really love this piece. Look at this beautiful face. Mm -hmm. They are. They're just incredible looking. I, I absolutely adore them. Um, what, yeah. what? It's it's a snake on my list um, that one day I will I will get. I've, I've got to admit, look at look at that beautiful face. Oh yeah, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely incredible, Nico. You need to Thank start, you. You need to start warning me, Hoss, when you're going to do that. <laughs> yeah, I I will I will show you some more. Yeah, man, we ha we haven't got much time. Uh, uh, it's, it's nearly um, finished. Oh, oh, of time. You've got another five minutes, maybe. Okay. So <laughs> I don't know if you have question or whatever, but uh, yeah, man. So if anyone has any oh, questions, look at my painting. Oh, look at it. Mister uh, Mustache. Oh, look. <laughs> this oh. is Mister Mustache. Follow it. Follow it. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm fucking get CDC. You can keep your oh, bowlings. You keep your bowlings. I want the cat. Yeah. <laughs> the best Englishman ever. Yeah, man. Yeah. I've uh, I've got a snake named after him. My my son at uh, five years old named one of my snakes Lemmy. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is more more animals. That's that's a beautiful little male diamond python here. He's born in France. He's beauty. Oh, what that's is, stunning. What is your um what is your electric bill like? Uh <laughs> I think it's about uh nine thousand euro a year. Something oh, uh, no. and that's that's another male. This one is very old, he's ten years old. Why? Mm -hmm. He he likes food. You see, if I if I yeah. do that, he will come and he's ready. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, <there it> is. <laughs> Boop the snoot. <laughs> so, um, this is, um, I have this one, which is very special one. This one is a uh, real, my, my only real captive bred one by Frederick, my friend from Sweden. Okay. I yeah. Thank yeah. Him so much for him. That was my first baby, um, really captive bred all the other ones come from farming i got them all those guys i got them really tiny uh except the big one of 10 years old but uh all the other ones i get them they were about like six eight months old or something like that but this one was the only captive bred <laughs> one and uh that's oh uh, foster cat foster yeah. cat nico He's come here. on yeah foster cat Mr. Moustache, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Moustache, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. The tradition is Mr. Moustache. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Moustache. <laughs> Look at this one. It's oh. a beautiful female. Yeah, she's lovely. I, d I don't go to handle her because she got a meal about, about two days ago, but uh, she's beautiful. She's uh, from uh, 2017. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. And she's growing very well. And <coughs> as you see, my, my setup is pretty simple. That's why I explain to people and look at this. I keep, I keep all these oh. shapes. Oh, Mr. Moustache. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. What type of cat is that? Mine. It's a, it's a, it's a, a, a savannah cat. Yeah. It's a savannah yeah. cat. Oh, savannah savannah right. cat. It's a mix. It's a mix he with a so nice. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. From Africa? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. From the spots and the, and the markings. Mm -hmm. Incredible. He is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> it is. And he's a beautiful hunter. He, he kills a lot of stuff for me. Falcons, <laughs> some snakes, everything. All the, bo all the bolans. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, not. Not yet. <laughs> I hope it will never happen. Yeah. <laughs> but this is, this is all the shade I kept from this female since the beginning. Just to show to people uh, okay. that you can keep balance really easy without any spraying system, without any try to making the 
the new Guinea oh, mountain in your living room, which mm -hmm. is, of course, impossible. But mm -hmm. just give them a lot of fresh water, a, a good thermal gradient because they love that. And uh, and it's worked pretty well. Yeah, Definitely, man. Okay. Awesome. So, that being said, um, Kevin, obviously coming with the abuse <laughs> straight away. Um, okay, so Nico, thanks for coming on and showing us around your lovely shop. Um, no, with Kevin, Kevin, Me? right? Kevin is not allowed to say anything until he comes on the live show. At the minute, he's been a right pussy and won't come on. So <laughs> yeah, Kevin, you, won't come you, on. Kevin, you shut your whore mouth. <laughs> um, come Nico, show you some uh, some cool carinata. Nico, yeah. can, can, can I just say, Nico, oh. he's got a lovely bum, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got a great bum. <laughs> Those guys are cool. Oh, oh nice. Love, love carinatas. That's it's what yeah. Yeah. Frank, Frank dream. Some some snakes I have, sometimes I just think about Frank and I say, fuck, Frank will be freak out if they see these things in captivity now because he never <laughs> had those ones. Uh -huh. Never wow. had those guys, and uh, that's so beautiful. They are this amazing. I love them. Nico. <laughs> Nico. So we have no time for questions. Nico, can I just <laughs> say one thing? Can you hear me? Yeah. Um, I honestly think, you know, in a years to come, there will be somebody doing a video uh, like this, talking about you the way that you talk about Frank, and I honestly think that. Mm -hmm. yeah, Thank you very much. 100%. I appreciate it. But uh, yeah, it's just, it's just be passionate, love, love what you're doing, and try to do the best you can. That that's it. I mean, the rest, and of also share because uh, Frank was the guy who share things and. I, I think it's very important to do yeah, that. Man. Yeah, definitely. 100%. 100%, 100%, 100%. Well, okay. yeah. So, Nico, thanks for coming on the show. We really, really appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much, um, guys. You, you I hope more than welcome. I hope mm. anyone who owns a reptile shop or wants to own a reptile shop looks at this because that's how you fucking do it. Um, yeah, absolutely. And on that note, would you like to share your social media or any websites? Uh, uh, yeah, we have uh, uh, a website which is uh, reptiline, uh, dot fr, uh and uh, we have a Facebook Reptiline also, and I we have also a YouTube channel Reptiline mm -hmm. where I mm -hmm. do a lot of videos. I know it's mostly in French because a lot of uh, for a long time French people were the frustrated guy who have nothing about reptiles, so that's why I do a lot of things in French, also because I'm French, of course, but uh, <laughs> if, if you don't understand French, now there is a, a, a way to click behind to have subtitle in English, but mm -hmm. uh, maybe one day I do more in English, but uh, most of the video are in French, and uh, we have a website for Herptech also, herptech.com, if you want to have mm -hmm. uh, plastic cages, and uh, and that's pretty hit. Well, right. right. Awesome. Okay, right. and if you like metal music, go and check up locomuerte.com. Like <laughs> 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 hey, lyrics, and of course, uh, Mr. Mustache. Mr. Mustache. Yeah, I want to grab him. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Nico, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on the show tonight, mate. Your ooze, you the, pa the passion, Definitely. you know, comes flying through. Also, that so. if you ha guys, if you have been listening to if you have been listening to this this evening, uh, a lot of people think that this is the podcast. The podcast is actually on Spotify, Apple Podcast, or from our website, reptileandfield.com. So this is the live stream that we do every Wednesday at 7 p.m. This is um, like a little bonus. Yeah, man, this is just us piss arsing around. Um, and yeah, I forget just one thing. We have also a live show in uh, here uh, for Reptilene. We we do every, the, the first uh, Thursday of the month, uh, we do a, a live show with my friend Dimitri, who work with me. We call him, Help world, 
it's a it's a kind of joke with Wentworth because I'm I'm a, I'm the guys who love <laughs> Wentworth. I'm I'm this generation. I'm Wentworth, fucking rock and roll. And oh, I'm, they have guitars playing and everything. Yeah, we play yeah, guitar man. and we talk about snakes. But what else? I mean, so it's help world. We we do funny stuff and we have some amazing guests uh, from uh, everywhere. And uh, it's always a pleasure to share to people. And we, we also answer to question uh, uh, to people who ask questions by writing on Facebook and say it's uh, every first Thursday of the month. So um, if, you, if you want to watch that, come on our Facebook page, page and that's it. Definitely. Right. Okay. So on behalf of myself, Fat Ginger and the really small one from Norfolk, and this lovely Frenchman. What this a beautiful here. man he is! What a beautiful um, man! Good night, and, guys. And the cool. cat, the cat, and as the well. cat Mr. Moustache. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Moustache. That is Mr. no Mr. Moustache. <laughs> so that is about it for this week, guys. We'll see you at 7 p.m. next Wednesday and go and check out the podcast, which will be released Monday morning. We've got David Howard on the podcast this week, and he's going to be telling us how the fuck you actually incubate Wormer eggs because no one knows. Everyone fucks up. That's about it, guys. See you later. Peace. Peace. Love you. Bye. Bye. Cheers.